Palestinian factions came together in Ramallah to discuss recent U.S. peace efforts and whether to resume talks with Israel. The leaders say they're willing to return to the negotiating table. But President Mahmoud Abbas's Fatah party and the PLO have also laid out clear conditions. A freeze on Israeli settlements in the West Bank and a return to the pre-1967 borders. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry has spent months trying to kick-start the peace talks, which have been stalled since 2008. His latest proposal has won the backing of the powerful Arab League. Kerry is appealing to Israel to seize the moment. Israel needs to look hard at uh, this initiative, which promises Israel peace with 22 Arab nations and 35 Muslim nations. Israeli officials say they won't accept the Palestinian preconditions, but they're still open to talks. This day, tomorrow, another day are very crucial. It's touch and go. And I believe that the supreme effort the Secretary made bear some fruits on both sides. But there's a long road ahead. Earlier this week, the European Union announced it would ban funding to Israeli settlements in the occupied territories. Israel is urging the EU to delay that decision, warning it could damage the peace process.